Hey guys, Kenny here. Yeah, I got this pressure washer here. Craftsman Professional Briggs & Stratton engine, eight and a half uh, torque output there, 190 cc. Didn't want to start. And I was playing with it and the fuel was old, so I changed the fuel and put new fuel in it and cleaned out the carburetor. Still didn't want to start. So when it was all said and done. All I did was replace the original plug with a brand new Champion RC12YC and she started right up. But the real problem with this thing was the framework. See this frame? It's riveted. You got a rivet in the front and a rivet in the back that holds this frame on. Well, the whole engine was cocked back because it broke these tabs off, okay? This tab was riveted on, that's where the rivet was, and it held on this frame and it was broken off. So what I did as a fix, as you can see, I took a bracket, a Stanley bracket, all right, L bracket, and I, where that rivet was, where I, where that rivet was, I drilled the rivet out and I drilled a hole all the way through. I put a bolt in, I put the L bracket on there and from the back side, I drilled it through for another quarter inch screw and I used a small head screw. Nylock nuts on both so they won't come off. And then when it was all said, I bent back the end here. It almost looks like factory, right? Cause it's bent back. And I'm gonna do the same for the other end. So just a tip, if you have this model, 580.754920 pressure washer the frame this bottom frame that has this riveted motor mount plate it's no longer available it's about 174 dollars and it's no longer available so get yourself a couple of angle brackets these are stanley angle brackets you get four of them for about three dollars and a couple of screws and a drill and put it together and make it work all right guys that's it for now if these things don't start, start with the easy stuff. Change the fuel, make sure the carb's clean, change the spark plug. It worked for me. All right, quick fix. That's it for me. We'll talk to you soon.